they say that uh, things are only as strong as their weakest link. And today, we found the weakest link in my tripod. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. So at some point, I was going to introduce you guys to my lovely newer 72-inch um, overhead tripod here. Honestly, it's been a really, really great tripod for like six months now. Um, but today, I went out at 6.15 a.m., which is not a thing I do. If you know me, you know how much I love morning. And I tried to deploy my lovely tripod here that I've been using for, like I said, about six months. And uh, this wouldn't come out. So I pulled harder. Still wouldn't come out. So I pulled harder, and then the whole thing fell out. When you extend a leg, See how it stops like that? It doesn't come all the way out. Oop, in, out. Very nice. Nice and smooth and tightens up and then doesn't come out anymore. It turns out that that entire system is only held in by these extraordinarily thin little pieces of very, very shitty plastic. But they slot into this on both sides and this is, uh, the bottom of this is what prevents the leg from just falling out. The problem is that when one of these lovely tabs decides to break lord only knows how inside of its metal housing sliding up and down and doing nothing else with its life then it becomes loose and when you try to put it back in no matter how many times you try <clears throat> these just immediately start sliding downwards and then it just gets jammed and wedged in there the whole thing hinges on this you are the weakest link. I'm going to figure out how to put this back together, and then I'll give you guys a proper rundown of this tripod, because I do like it in general. Hey, guys. Okay, so Salty Eric is gone, as is that nasty cell phone video. I sincerely apologize for all of that. So I'm going to show you this guy. The really, yeah, the newer overhead tripod. Um, I freaking love it. I do. Despite that one flaw, um, but I mean that one flaw can bring the whole thing crashing down, like quite literally. Um, but honestly, a couple little dabs of Gorilla Glue did the trick on that. So we're gonna start from the top, move our way to the bottom, check this thing out, and uh, see if I would recommend it for you and your use. All right, so starting right up here at the top, uh, we have got a one-quarter thread. Uh, there is no eighth thread option for this particular head, but this is an Arca Swiss type head, so, or mount, I should say, not head. Uh, this is just Arca Swiss, so you can get these very, very easily. They're very interchangeable between anything else that uh, utilizes the Arca Swiss system. There are three mounting points for your uh, quarter inch in here. Um, coming down from that to remove the, the uh, plate here, this is a very, very smooth turning uh, knob on the side here. All the knobs and everything, I want to say they are plastic. Uh, they've got a nice rubber uh, rubber band that they stuck around there. So it can slide from time to time, especially if it gets real muggy out or something like that. Uh, so that's something to consider. I just use my shirt to turn it if, you know, if it gets real hard to turn just by hand. And it always does the trick there. The handle over here has a uh, level, a bubble level in it. So if you are shooting sideways, which this is capable of uh, very easily, then you can be level on that, and it's got another level right there. I like that it's sticking a little far out to the side, but if I've got a camera on it, most of the time it's covering that level up either way. So, I don't know, kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. You can position your camera so you can see it. I've done it many times, um, so it is doable. Uh, coming down from there, this comes with a very competent ball head, nice and chunky. Um, and it's got two knobs on the sides. Both of these do exactly the same thing. They loosen the ball up. You can tighten just one down and leave the other one loose and it's gonna stay in place. Uh, but there's two just for redundancy, I guess. It's, it's quite nice. So if you're making adjustments on the fly, I just leave one loose and then just loosen the other when I need to make a move and tighten it. But in general, if it's just gonna be sitting there doing a video like we are now or something like that, um, then I will loosen both of them up, make my changes and tighten both of them down. Uh, but those are the same kind of plastic with uh, the big rubber chunky thing around it. And it does have some, uh, let's see if we can actually get in on that a little bit. Um, it's got nice little ridges along there. So it's decently simple to grip. 
um, and this also has a notch to the side so you can uh, shoot sideways like so. Uh, directly below that we've got yet another knob turning this allows us to turn the actual tripod head itself and you can see there they actually do have let's see numbers on the inside there so you can tell how many degrees off of zero you are if you're rotating things like that if you're trying to maintain consistency or whatever now if you want to replace this tripod head tighten down the back here and give it a nice uh, solid rotation pops right off easy peasy um, standard threading there for a uh, new tripod head i use this with my fluid head quite often um, especially if i'm doing video uh, this ball head is obviously more for photography but that is an excellent option what this also allows you to do while i have it off i'll show you there's one leg that's marked right there with a lock and an unlock and if you give it a nice solid twist boom whole leg pops off and you've got yourself the same exact thread you've got yourself a nice six foot uh, let's say five foot yeah we'll say five foot monopod uh, I actually use this quite often a lot more often than I thought I would it's pretty nice just to kind of be able to run and gun with it and since you can put a fluid head on here if you want that'd be weird but sure go for it um, or you can keep the ball head on here it's really really nice and it's a quick simple 30 seconds to pop the leg off pop the head off and combine them into this very nice lovely monopod here okay so if we come down from the ball head itself we actually hit the body of the tripod here so this allows you to extend and retract the center column there so the next one this big chonker here if we loosen that guy up and this guy up this comes all the way up it's a little button uh, right here on the bottom of the center column you got to push that to allow it through the center column and then with both of these loosened you can now articulate this entire center column uh, down to I mean shoot I guess down as far as you want to go you can fold it right back down on itself if you really want to uh, typically I'll run it at about a 45 and then uh, do the other 45 degrees with the ball head with the camera on the end looking straight down at the table it has been a wonderful change from having to hang my camera from the chandelier which is what I was doing before so when you are putting something heavy on the end um, really any camera even even the the G9 here I would probably still want to use a sandbag there's a hook around the other side right there not so much a hook just a loop uh, that is plastic but it's nice and chunky I've hung 40 pounds from it uh, that's my sandbag that I use for it when I've got it hanging over my head I don't want the whole thing crashing down and being a very expensive oopsie okay down from there we've got yet another bubble level and this one I actually do use quite often one knob down here and that's going to allow us to rotate the entire center column if it's extended uh, then I can I can move it back and forth a little bit so that's a pretty nice thing to have there as well I guess the the plastic thing was my first complaint the legs are going to be my second complaint on this because this is position one this is where I normally keep it and extend the legs all the way clicks in place can't go up clicks in place can't go up same thing there so they won't fold on you which is obviously good the problem with it is that there's nothing keeping them open so if this is sitting on the ground and you pick it up they're just going to close they're going to flop to the side and you're going to have to re make make you know quick adjustments with cheapo boy here i've got that center column lock where i can just pick it up move it and, and it's going to stay in the same position no matter what so that definitely is an annoyance to me what i've had to do for this is if it's closed just take my hand get it right there on the center column kind of bulge my fingers out like this so i can hold all the legs out and when I move it, I just get my hand in this position and I move it just like that. So it holds all the legs in position. It's not a super comfortable position, but it is what it is. So next down, we've got these nice foam um, pads here, which is pretty nice actually, since I'm shouldering this thing a lot, it's nice to kind of have a little bit of padding there. And the legs themselves, like I said, are pretty hefty aluminum. They're very, very nice. The build quality on this thing is excellent materials wise the stupid plastic clips are just so broken so bad 
whatever. Um, and then below that we have got, uh, these are anodized red aluminum, the actual um, turning locks here, and they are twist locks, so you can actually just grab them all at once, give it a good twist, out comes your leg. And then, same thing, twist them close. And this gets very, very tall. So this is how tall it is before the uh, center column is extended. It's already taller than that one that I'm uh, using right there. If I extend the center column, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Boom. It's very easily taller than me, which is kind of awesome because uh, I have to film downwards a lot. And yeah, I don't know. It's nice having a tripod taller than you when you're 6'3", because, you know, it's a pain in the butt when everything's short. <laughs> okay, and last, but not least, got these nice rubberized feet on the bottom, and as a nice little bonus, you can actually put uh, grass spikes in here uh, if need be. So that was very thoughtful of them. That is it. That is the newer overhead tripod. I will put the link in the description below for the actual product page. It runs around 130 to 150 bucks, depending on where you purchase it. Very, very, very much like this tripod, minus that leg. Um, and I would, I mean, 10 out of 10, buy one again, you know. Uh, you may not want to buy this if you're only looking for a travel tripod. Because this thing probably weighs in it, I don't know, four and a half pounds, five pounds, something like that. It's not light by any means, uh, especially if you're trying to keep your kit light. I run just like a, a camera backpack here and having this thing like sticking off the side of it like a mast and it weighs more than uh, you know a camera and a good lens combined. You might want to find something that's either a, like a really nice uh, carbon fiber or a nicer aluminum or even one of these crappy aluminum ones that I'm using right now. As you can see, it's clearly very functional. I don't care for the head on it and it's not interchangeable and blah 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 it cost me 30 bucks you know it is what it is uh, but man I would not recommend this for traveling <laughs> it's nice to have when you need it so if you're going somewhere where you're gonna want a nice chunky tripod bring it but if you're just just trying to backpack or running gun or anything like that this probably isn't the one for you if you are looking for something extremely sturdy that you can have interchangeable uh, heads on, you can have interchangeable plates with that uh, Swiss Arca mount there, this is definitely something you should consider. Um, at the price point of $130, I think it is extremely well worth it. And I don't know, I think I've definitely already got my money's worth out of it in the last six months. Anyway guys, thank you as always for coming by, seeing what we're up to over here. And uh, if you're interested in this product, definitely check that link out in the description below. I'm just gonna link the product page. I don't have any affiliation with Newer whatsoever. I just happen to buy a lot of their stuff. And I've been happy with most of it so far. So if you like this video, you know where the sub button is, hit the bell next to it. If you want to see more stuff like this. Like I always say, it's a grab bag. It's kind of anything uh, electronic. If it plugs in and turns on, then it's going to be on this channel at some point. At least that's my goal here. So thanks once again. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.